cars of the future should not be able to crash. In the long run, we will offer cars that don't get involved in accidents. Yes, here in Gothenburg, an advanced research project is being carried out, the goal of which is to create optimum traffic safety. Almost all traffic accidents are due to driver error, and it is precisely this, the driver's behaviour, that the EU project called EuroFOT focuses on. FOT stands for Field Operational Tests. Some 100 Volvo cars and 50 trucks are, during the experimental period, fitted with advanced camera and computer equipment that monitors everything the driver does. In addition to the normal sensors, we have added uh, these cameras here that look uh, on the traffic in the front. We also have a camera in the rear uh, to, for the rearward face uh, traffic. And we have uh, these um, uh, eye tracker uh, uh, cameras that uh, uh, record uh, the driver. So we have a driver view here. The driver's eye uh, gaze is uh, monitored. So we can see if the driver is looking on the, in the road or the instruments or in the wrong direction. We also have a camera on that side here that records the, the driver view, a complete view. So we so see if he's uh, using the gears, everything. Over an 18-month period, the 100 Volvo cars that the Volvo Car Corporation has contributed will travel around with this advanced technology and collect data from approximately 3 million kilometers of driving. The cameras that monitor the driver, the road and the surrounding traffic, together with the car's existing electronic safety systems, send all information to an advanced computer located in the back of the car. All data is then analysed to subsequently be used as the underlying information as to how a future car safety system is designed. With this new knowledge that we get from this new uh, method, we will be able to design completely new inventions, if you will, that will help and support the driver to avoid accidents. Over a long period of time, Volvo has acquired a great deal of knowledge from thousands of simulated crash tests and from more than 36,000 real accidents. What is new with this latest research is the fact that they now also receive information about incidents that did not result in a crash. With this new technology, we have a unique possibility also to see drivers uh, being able to avoid accidents and we can analyse the factors that contribute to uh, avoidance. Traditionally, we have uh, been analyzing drivers getting into accidents, and uh, so uh, this new technology lets us study both accidents and incidents that are taken care of by the driver. And that's a brand new thinking. That's a brand new thing, and I'm really excited to see the results here. SAFER is a research center within Swedish vehicle and traffic safety hosted by Chalmers University of Technology. SAFER is a participant in the Euro FOT project. Chalmers will secure, we, we do it that it has a very scientific approach with high quality. And uh, then if you combine the, the knowledge that we have in SAFER within road user behavior, and also in distraction and for instance in, in eye tracking we will be able to understand uh, why the accidents actually occurs. Volvo's vision is in the future to offer vehicles that do not cause fatal accidents and at Volvo they believe that in only a few years time cars safety systems will have become so sophisticated that it will be reflected in accident statistics. But is it really worthwhile developing private cars when the world is increasingly looking for alternative methods of transport? Yes, really it is, because there will always be a need for uh, individual um, flexibility. And uh, I think also that by this uh, development that there will be a um, very successful competitor to the public transportation. If the, the car industry wouldn't be there, uh, you wouldn't have the pressure to actually push the borders to a safer and, and more environmental society.